So here we are at the Basalt Colorado Public Library, a relatively new building designed by a friend. Fairly low profile on the outside. I'm not going to pan the parking lot, but plenty of room in the parking lot. So we're panning the inside of the library. A nice area. There's another book drop, conference room, restrooms. Some advertising, a book exchange. It's beautiful tile floors. Beautiful wood walls, restrooms, little art area, an exchange area, magazine exchange, place for community posters, an energy project that's running. This is your energy navigator for the building. A very nice community room, which is currently being used, so we can't really Yes, we can, just to get a shot of it. As you can see, being used by community members. There's an AV room down at the end there. And here we have a little kitchen area, because a lot of functions held in here. Forgot to turn my interior light on, so I just did that. Here's a little... As you can see, Kidge Branch, little children's area, which we're going to walk into. It's a very, very nice. This library was built just a few years ago. So we're now walking into the reading room, children's stacks. It is a school day, so a lot of the children are at school to wall window. Beautiful Colorado mountains. Now we're back on the inside. Camera will adjust to the lighting. You see a sitting area. And more sitting area around the windows. The computer spaces are not concentrated, they tend to be integrated into the stacks as you can see. makes them, I think, feel more like the library. Very well thought out. Not segregated. It's part of the reading, learning experience. Uh, business center for copying, etc. Audiobooks on hold for customers. Areas where you can check out your books yourself. And now to the patron service desk where you can check out your book with some help. Okay, this is uh, Saxe's Cafe, a local cafe in downtown Basalt, Colorado. As you can see, it's a small building. Interesting kind of architecture how they place this building. So it is making the best of available space. So I'm walking along the pathway to entrance. You get a little bit better view of the outdoor seating area, which is small but very cute. And we're about to head through the front door. So I'm putting on the interior light, which I forgot to do, heading around the store. Customer just walking out. where you order, some tables on the side, get more seating area, so they seat four, four 
up on the counter, displays, you see the, some juices and sodas and a little display case with pastries, and a selection. It's not fly, but they do have coffees and sandwiches and, and interesting salad menus. It's a mystery, it's between the cucumbers plaster walls as you can see, really nice wood floors, not a high ceiling but not a flat ceiling, kind of interesting plaster ceiling, brick walls, colorful, a bit dark, uh, the lights are some lights, small lights on the ceiling, but most of the light is coming through the door windows and front door. So it does create a mood. I wouldn't necessarily say it's not well lit. That's probably the intent of the owner. Tables and chairs are nice. Wooden chairs. Good solid countertops. Little TV, although there's no audio on. I would say that it's probably perfect for a small town. You wouldn't have a larger expe expectation. I know I drink coffee here, so it's uh, heavily used by locals year-round. It's been around for a while. It's quite successful. They have Wi-Fi, but they don't publish publish their uh, login. You have to go to the counter and ask for it. They don't, definitely don't want people coming in and just sitting down and using it as a hangout.